So let's talk about a mini PC. This one is the Mini Air 11. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come. I have tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.a. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the Mini Air 11 and what it could do. It says on the back here that it has an 11th Gen Intel Celeron 95095. It also has a DDR4 8 gigs of RAM. And then there's the SSD as well of 256 gigs. Let's go ahead and open this up. Boom! It says on there in the box, we love to pursue. There we go. Here as well is the PC. Pretty basic, of course, but it looks nice on the camera there. You gotta stick the guy out right there. Whew, that's small. That's, that's quite a bit there. That is pretty small. The letter here, literature. Let's put that on the side for now. Let's open this guy up. Boom! It even has a little bag that you can use it for traveling. See, it is the uh, power bar, power the power the PC up right there. It also comes with HDMI cable as well. There you go. It also has a made display port to HDMI adapter. Some literature again. And then some mounting brackets if you want to mount it on the back of your monitor. Mounting brackets right there. The best amount you can use it on uh, the, any back of the uh, monitor there. And that's it. Let's take out the plastic. And there it is. Oh. The front of the Mini Air 11 has a USB-C, USB 3 slot, a headphone jack, and the power button. There's also a slot for a lock. The backside has a big fan on the top, the DC adapter, mini display port, Ethernet slot, two USB 3s, USB-C, and an HDMI slot. And then the other side has an SD reader. The top is removable so that you can customize it to whatever you want. As you can see here, if you remove the top, it will show the fan. Pretty big fan as well. The inside has a 256 gigs NVMe SSD. This is expandable. You can swap this up to one terabyte as well. And it has two slots for RAMs. It already has an eight gig RAM. You can add another one for a maximum of 16 gigs of RAM. These are also DDR4s. Now I was able to hook up one monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, powered up the Govi LED lights, and also a USB hub. Now when I was trying to play videos on YouTube, I was actually able to play a 4K video without any stutter or any problems whatsoever. Now let's try out the speakers as well. The Mini Air 11 does come with a speaker. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in. Let's just turn it up a bit here. We're at 50%. We're gonna bump it up to 100%. So as you can see here, the speaker does work well. The bass is not really existing at all, but that's okay. At least it comes with the speakers. Let's try out if it does better on like speeches, like when you're watching YouTube videos and someone is explaining something. What's happening YouTube show Boy Tech Tricks back now if you can. and today we're looking at the Chubby Mini Book X. It also comes with a smart stylus. Here we go. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. First thing 
it first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you could be notified of nice videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130. Now let me know in the comments below if that's any good or not. I think it's okay. It does work well and it explains a lot. Now let's try out to have a lot of tabs on our Microsoft Edge. As you could see, I spammed opening a bunch of tabs here. And we're gonna try out some programs online and see if it lags at all. So we're gonna go on YouTube here. As you could see, even the scrolling is pretty smooth. There's no crashing or anything like that. It's actually really good. And in here, we're watching a video. Again, the tabs are still all there. I haven't closed anything yet. And uh, the video is playing really well. And of course, this depends on your network settings as well. Uh, let's just keep going here. Search up, you know, another video and see if it's uh, going to lag at all. And as you can see, it's doing really well. Um, I actually find this um, quite impressed. I'm quite impressed about this as well. Here, we're going to bump up the specs to 4K. There we go. And we're going to keep playing as well and see how well it does. As you can see here, it's able to play 4K video without any lag at all. I'm pretty impressed with the Mini Air 11, how it's able to withstand all that. The Microsoft Edge tabs are still there. My browser is still full of uh, tabs and it was, there's no problem at all on playing the video. Here's another everyday task that you might be using, Google Docs. Let's just try to add a new document here and see if we can spam the keyboard and how well it does as well on that. During that test, I didn't find any stutter. It's one-to-one -to -one to my, for my keyboard to how it's typing on the screen. So there's no lag at all. Now let's try it on Sheets. Note that in all these tests, I'm not closing any tabs at all, as you can see up there. Um, the docs are still there, the sheets still there. I'm just using another tab and opening another tab so that I can open another one. So for example, we're gonna try out another suite here from Google. Let's try to make a PowerPoint now. It's called Google Slides. Here we go, Just make a new document. I'm gonna try to change the themes this time and see how well it does. I didn't find any problems on the scrolling at all. Now I would definitely recommend this for people who wants to use uh, the Mini Air 11 for everyday tasks. It would have no problem at all. The Intel Celeron does put up a lot and the eight gigs of RAM helps a lot. And if ever, um, it gets really slow or anything like that. You can always add another uh, 8 gig RAM on there and then you'll be good to go. Now let's test out how fast the SSDs are. As you can see, pretty decent as well. Uh, it's putting out about 500, averaging around maybe 400. Not bad at all. With the Mini Air 11, it also only has uh, integrated graphics. But again, with the Celeron, it has a quad core at 2 gigahertz. Plenty of power for um, everyday task. I wouldn't actually edit videos here because maybe not too intense anyway. It'll do like a mini alt task, nothing uh, too crazy, not 4K editing or anything like that. And I wouldn't do any gaming here as well unless it's compatible with the Celeron processor. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope it was able to help you on your choice on a brand new P mini PC. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. I'll link everything down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button as well so you can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.